Us that say if Nigeria won the world. Living well together tomorrow, the challenges of Africa's future cities is the focus of this gathering, organized by the Center for Values and Leadership and founded by Professor Pat Otomi. And some of the dignitaries present at this occasion include the governor of Lagos State, Governor Akimumi Ambodi, the owner of Ife, Obade Yeyeni Togumusi, deputy governors, senators and business tycoons, as well as students from secondary and tertiary institutions. To the issue at hand, proper education is a starting point in creating a mega city. There is an obsession with talking about tertiary education in Nigeria. And yet what is more important because if you don't get that right the quality of tertiary education will be not so right because garbage goes in and only garbage can exit and this is primary education that's not all creating a city that works also depends largely on a lot of things one of which is alliance between business community and political actors Urbanization is an area where public policy choices are absolutely vital. The key to good policy is a golden alliance between the business community, here you are, and what I call the authorizing political environment. Lagos states may have put in place some measures towards achieving a mega city status, but the journey may just be beginning. As the authorities say, the process may require some sacrifice from the citizens. Our vision remains the same. Africa's molded mega city and global economic and financial hub that is safe, secure, functional and productive. We have the issue of connectivity. It's not okay. I'm not too sure when I wake up in the morning, I see all these yellow buses, and then I see Okada, I see all sides of tricycles, and I say this is a mega city. That's not true. But I tell you what, I want to banish yellow buses this year. The central message for this gathering seemed to be not only for the youth to dream, but back up their dreams with action. After all, nothing good comes easy. Victoria Ido, reporting for Channels Television News.